The Doors once said, people are strange when you're a stranger, faces look ugly when you're alone. Well, I'm all by myself and I think I look pretty damn cute. Let's get into this trailer reaction. <laughs> Welcome to the Cine Fanatics. My name is Robert Adams, and I'm here today with a reaction to The Strangers, Chapter 1. So this is going to be a prequel to the two Stranger movies we've already gotten so far, The Strangers and The Strangers Pray at Night. Uh, I'm a big fan of the original. The second movie, uh, a little mid on, but I'll explain more about that after I do a reaction to this. Let's jump into this and see how good this is going to get. Do you know what today is? Today is the third day of our three-day road trip across the country. Or our five-year anniversary. Aw, uh, they're gonna get bothered by the strangers. A little town. I actually like this so much better than a hotel. I'll bet the people who live here are really happy. Oh, well, it's Richard Brake. Tough crowd, right? I love Richard Brake. Hi. Hi. Would you hear, like to hear about the good word? Do you hear that? Hear what? The silence. It's nice. It <laughs> ain't gonna last. <laughs> is, this, is Tara home? Is Tamara here? Tamara. No. Close. I think you have the wrong home. Alright. See you later. That was weird. <laughs> So it seems to be playing out exactly like the... Ooh, that's creepy. <laughs> exactly like the first one. You are the messiest eater on the planet. I'm sorry, that ketchup looks a little bloody. Ew. Here's Johnny. How the strangers became the strangers. Do you really want to know that though? I feel like that was like the benefit of the first movie. Why are you doing this to us? Because why not? Because you're here. It's the same line because you were home. Okay. <laughs> All right. So you had me up until that line, like you reused the line. The strangers pray at night didn't, they did a different variation of it. I can't remember exactly what the line was off the top of my head, but they did a variation of that. And that was, that was great. It worked because it still conveyed the same kind of eeriness and creepiness that you're wanting to get from the strangers. But this is pretty much just regurgitating the same line that we've already heard from the first movie. Uh, the first movie's great. I love the fact that you've got, like, the isolation of it. Uh, you really only have, like, the two main characters, Scott Speedman and Liv Tyler. Uh, I know you got, uh, like, Scott Speedman's friend pops in briefly, like, in the middle of the movie. But other than them, it's them and the three strangers, and that's it. And the, the two, like... Uh, the kids going not like door to door uh, trying to sell the good word of of the Lord our Savior uh, but other than that like it's very it's very close-knit isolated and it works beautifully on that level it, it puts you right there in it uh, the famous shot of Liv Tyler sitting there trying to smoke a cigarette in the kitchen while you see uh, the the stranger guy in the hallway behind her absolutely creepy Second movie, still playing on that same kind of isolation idea, except we're in a, a seemingly abandoned uh, tra trailer park. It works pretty good. I, it, they expand it more than just being at the one house, so I like the fact that they took it to a, a much larger area, but it plays very much like the same 
didn't really uh, add too much more to it, except probably pushing more on what looks like the old school like slasher kind of vibes off of it. This looks like it's kind of repeating the first movie. Uh, it's the two people. I mean, yeah, we saw other townspeople in there, but uh, for the most part, we all saw them in just a little bit of the trailer. Don't know to what extent they're going to be a part of the story of this movie. Looks like it's still going to be just the two people in this like secluded cabin, and then the three strangers are attacking them. So who knows? Uh, reusing the same line instead of changing it up, I guess. I mean, it was so good in the first one. Why fix it? if it ain't broke but you want to do something different you don't want to do the same movie uh, I like the fact that supposedly this is going to show us like as they said in there how the strangers became the strangers but there was n I didn't see anything in this trailer that really kind of helps convey that this is their origin story it just looks like it's another couple in the middle of nowhere with these three strangers attacking them so I mean, for all intents and purposes, the first Strangers movie could have been the origin in that case. So there's probably more to this movie that they didn't show this. They didn't show us in this trailer. So eager to see if there is anything more to it. Uh, last thing I want to comment on is this is directed by Rennie Harlan, who I wouldn't say he does like completely awful stuff, but. In my opinion, yours may be different, uh, a lot of the popular movies that I've seen from him, they're good, they're just not like knock it out of the park blockbusters for me. Like uh, Die Hard 2 was really good, I enjoy it, b watched it plenty of times. Uh, Cliffhanger was okay, it just, it just wasn't the greatest for me. Um, probably my favorite movie of his is going to be uh, Nightmare on Elm Street 4, The Dream Master. I thought it was really good, even though it's a little cheesier, but obviously... Uh, <laughs> Nightmare on Elm Street 3 is still going to reign supreme, and you can quote me on that. But otherwise, yeah, I don't know exactly what kind of vibes I'm going to get from him in this movie, but I'm still going to be eager to watch it, go see it in the theaters, because this is the kind of movie that works great in a movie theater. So, anyways, that's going to be my thoughts on this reaction. What did you think of this trailer and this reaction? Let me know down below in the comments. While you're down there, make sure you hit like and subscribe. You can follow The Cinefanatics on Twitter and Instagram and TikTok at The Cinefanatics. You can follow me at RCA Reacts on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and Letterbox. Also, YouTube.com slash at RCA. CA reacts. Anyways, that's gonna do it. Thank you for watching this video. We'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.